Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Retro and you are watching my Nintendo NES collection. I first want to give you an overview of my NES cabinet because this is one of the best things in my collection in my opinion. It's an official World of Nintendo display cab that was in the stores back in the 90s and 80s and it's filled to the brim with NES goodness. As you can see there it has a bottom part filled with Rob stuff but we'll get to that later. So let's open it up and get to show you the games. See if I can do that without opening the glass all the time, because that makes it kind of annoying. Black box games. These are the first games that got released for the NES and are often very, very hard to find, especially in good condition. Still missing a couple of them, but I'm trying to get them all in the whole code version. So that's the Dutch version that got released in Holland, and in Europe we have a plethora of many different versions like F A H, F R A H O L, S C N. UKV, etc., etc. So, one of the rarest there, volleyball. Try finding that complete, I dare you. These are all small box games. These are smaller than the regular NES games. Let me show you one, for example, in case you don't know what we're talking about. Let's get out Urban Champion. And you can see it's a smaller box. When you compare it to a normal game, you see it's quite small. Why these got released, I'm not sure but they were only released in the beginning years of the NES and later every game came out in the normal or bigger box version. There's a bunch more of them, small box games and then we're off to normal box games. Um, some of these games are European only so they didn't have an American release, for instance Aladdin or Asterix, uh, Aussie Rules Footy, there you have the three Batman games, Battletoads vs Double Dragon and Battletoads, Bubble Bobble, one of my favorite NES games, Castlevania 1, 2, and 3, Chippendale Rescue Rangers, the Double Dragon games, and the two DuckTales games. My favorite being DuckTales 2, but you can see that in my top 10 NES video games uh, video if you want to check that out. It's on my channel. It's my hand picked top 10 on which NES games I like the most. And here we have Kirby's Adventure, also one of my favorite games. Kirby's a great platforming title. Lion King, another game that didn't get released in America. The three Lolo games. And here we start with the Mega Mans. Mega Man 1 twice because uh, these are different versions. One does have a hang tap and the other one doesn't. And I just couldn't get it over my heart to sell one of them, so I kept them both. Mega Man 3, 4, the American 4, 5, American 5, and 6, which only got released in America. Then we have some more games. Parodius, really cool shoot 'em up. Really strange shoot 'em up as well. Pro Protector 1 and 2, known as Contra in the United States, it was a European release without, uh, without real persons, as far as it can be real persons in a game. Then we have some games that are standing in front of each other because my Cabinet's actually getting full. You see Action 52 there, infamous, really, really horrible game. Super Mario games. And let's get those out of the way so I can show you what's behind that. So let's open it up. These are four of the Mario Pirate games. These are unofficial Mario games that uh, I just kept to, uh, yeah, for collection purposes. This is Super Mario Bros. 4, Super Mario Family. Super, uh, MC Mario, which is actually just MC Kids with Mario in it, and Super Mario Party. And then to the right here, uh, to the left actually, let's close that up again. You already saw Over Horizon, Mega Man 2, Shadow Warriors, Ninja Gaiden, or Ninja Gaiden. Behind that we have some Star Trek, Spider-Man, Snake's Revenge, Smurfs. Here's Action 52. If you want to see a video on the contents of Action 52, this one is 100% complete. You won't find a completer copy. Check it out on my channel and I'll show you everything that's supposed to come inside. Panic Restaurant, also quite a rare game. And here are some more Simpsons titles and uh, Shadow Warriors 2. So let's get to the bottom of the cabinet and let's get to my favorite items. This is Rob, Rob the Robot. Got released with the NES to make it look like a toy instead of a video game console because of the video game crash in 83. It came out with two games, Stack Up and Gyromite or Gyromite. Um, these are big box versions because they come with a lot of accessories to uh, use with the Rob. 
The games are horrible, the accessories and rob are useless, but these games, big box, are so damn rare. And these two are actually in the whole code that I told you about before. So this entire set is a Dutch set, and I'm really, really proud of having that. To the left we see the zapper, the controller, the max, fitness center and family fun fitness, which is basically the same, but then just a regional difference. Some NES control deck variants. And here we have the deluxe set, which was the set that uh, Rob was sold in when you bought it with the NES. This one is just Rob, that one is Rob with the NES. And that was it for this part of the NES. I have some more NES games, which I'll start showing you now. These are the NES games I put on my display shelves, and that's for the reason of them being really rare, really cool, or uh, just really valuable. So on the bottom here we have Banana Prince. Legend Door or uh, Sur, uh, what's it called again? Chevalier du Zodiac only got released in Europe again. Super Turkin, Pugly's Scavenger Hunt, Trolls in Crazy Land, Euphoria, Snow Brothers, Die Hard, The Jetsons, Hammering Harry, Alfred Chicken, Final Fantasy, Solomon's Key 2, and up here are my three favorites: Little Samson, great game and also a really rare game. Same goes for Rodland, which only got released in Europe. And the last one, I don't think I need to tell you about this, but that Stadium Events, one of the rarest NES games out there. It's the European version, so not the incredible rare American version, but still this one is really hard to find, and it's in absolute mint condition. If you want to see what's inside that box, check out the video I made about it, and um, that was pretty much my NES collection. If you want to see more, check out my other collection videos on parts of my collection, and of course the long video with my entire collection. Like me on Facebook to stay up to date on everything, facebook.com slash drretromd or drretromd. And uh, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.